Hi Gemini, this is your October 9th to October 15th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first part is a new love this week. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Fool. Then we have the King of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I usually go with a King or Queen. If one or both show up, so yeah, you got the skin of ones, the third card from the left, that's the person, most likely a fire sign, there is Leo Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart, if they're not a fire sign, they could be somebody who is like easy to get up and go, they could be like a leader in their community, or a leader at work, and um, you know what, this is such a straightforward, such a simple reading, Gemini, I gotta be honest, with you. and I'd like to thank you for that, uh, there is no... There is no hoops to jump through. There is no obstacles. The two of you match. This person is your perfect match. And there is duality going on throughout this reading. And here is where, here where that duality comes in. You see why we have two aces, right? The Ace of Swords, the first card that came out, then the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands belongs to the King of Wands, right? You see how the King of Wands is holding up a one? That's, the, that's their one in the Ace of Wands. This is them really, really wanting this new beginning with you, right? The Ace of Swords, the first card I came out, belongs to you. <laughs> You're the Queen and the King of Swords, right? And if you Google the King and the Queen of Swords, you will see that uh, both of them also hold up a sword. So that's you. This is also you wanting to uh, move forward with this person, equally just like they do. The full clarifying the Ace of Swords uh, could be an Aries, right? If this King of Wands is an Aries, it makes total sense. But at the same time, the fool is just going for it, you know? It's a card of taking a leap of faith. It's a card of just jumping in. Not because you're reckless, but because uh, it will feel like the right thing to do. Because you guys match on so many levels. Um, and again, there's this duality going on. It's like it's going to be an instant connection, instant chemistry. Neither one of you will be questioning, should we move forward or not? Uh, the answer is yes. By the way, the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. <laughs> the King of Wands themselves is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn indicator. But the Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's the most serious, the most grounded Knight out of all for Knights. The Knight of Pentacles often talks about uh, long term. You know, this uh, Knight is also the most financially abundant Knight out of all for Knights. So you will know that that this person is not fooling or playing around with you because they're coming in with that knight of pentacles right and the ace of wands right this person is like a jack of all trade kind of like you gemini <laughs> gemini are very adaptive gemini's are very uh you know also jacks of all trades i know that because i'm a gemini myself <laughs> for those of you who didn't know that so we also have that two of cups right there in the middle this is you and uh, this king of wands right this is a card of a soulmate connection it's a card of when two people are on the same page both people feel the same way towards one another and that's why you're not even gonna think twice <laughs> because you guys make such a great couple in the potential outcome we have the will of fortune with the uh, ten of pentacles and the ten of cups Again, duality, right? We got two commitment and marriage cards in there. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups are those two cards. You're basically getting, again, you're getting one, one card per person. You get an ace per person, and now you get the uh, commitment and marriage card per person. <laughs> Both of you want this. So it basically, it's not a matter of if, but when the two of you will uh, commit to one another, or even get married, right? The Wheel of Fortune, the first card in there is a Sagittarius card, but at the same time, it's the start of a cycle. Okay, it's the start of a very fortunate uh, cycle. And since it's on the next level up, it's a cycle that has uh, to deal with those two commitment and marriage cards, right? And the, the, uh, <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. And I always like when the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups show up in the same reading, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a card of uh, like buying uh, a home together, having money in the bank, 
And the Ten of Cups takes care of the emotional fulfillment. It's like very lovey-dovey energy. When you get both of them, you basically get the best of both worlds. So, Gemini, yeah, very straightforward, very simple reading. You guys will connect right away. You have so much in common. And uh, in the future, you will have uh, marriage in common. <laughs> really happy for you. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Uh, we have uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Wands. Then we have uh, the Devil, clarified by the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And uh, we have Strength on the bottom of the deck. Well, 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 Gemini. It's going to be one heck of a week. <laughs> you guys will have a lot of fun together. A lot of fun that uh, is... Uh, I'm just trying to stay under the PG-13 radar. Alright? And uh, it's all happening between you and your existing boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, husband, wife. I confirm that. Yes, it is. It's not happening outside of your marriage or relationship. It's happening inside of it. Something is gonna happen that will spark things up it's going to be a huge not even a spark it's going to be a huge flame okay so let me explain <laughs> we got the king and the queen of cups that's you and your person that's the two of you right and um, the king and the queen of cups in my spreads is the ultimate love couple this is when two people speak the same language both of them are on the same page both of them are in love with one another all right both of you are clarified by the ace of ones and the knight of ones here comes the flame here comes the fire all right fire <laughs> it's gonna get hot, it's gonna get spicy, hot and spicy. Then we had the devil. You see, before I clarified anything, we had the king and the queen of cups and the devil. Alright, the devil in this case, things will get very interesting. Like, behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. And uh, the devil is clarified by the two of cups and the ten of cups. Um, this is happening in, within your marriage or commitment. The Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment to marriage. And there's two people in the Two of Cups, right? This is you and them, the King and the Queen of Cups. All right, so the devil is all about lust. It's all about temptation. But again, it's all happening within your existing uh, connection. And uh, the chair ends up with strength on the bottom of the deck. First of all, uh, strength would be a Leo you're dealing with. But strength, uh, the very often forgotten meaning of the strength card is loyalty. All right, so again, this is another confirmation that this is the two of you, two existing partners. And uh, another way to interpret strength is pure, raw passion. All right? <laughs> so yes, uh, Gemini, things will get uh, very interesting, very dynamic, very fiery, hot and spicy between the two of you. All right, so stay safe and have fun. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini. Uh, this week, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Six of Cups, uh, clarified by the Hermit. We have the Ten of Swords, uh, the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Four of Cups. And we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so um, I gotta warn you, be careful um, about what your neighbors will say. Gemini, uh, because you're going to be chasing this person out of your life, for some of you, could have, you're going to be literally chasing this person out. And that's why, uh, just be careful with your neighbors. <laughs> I know most Geminis don't care what other people say. All right, that's a, that's a good thing if you ask me. Anyway, jokes aside, yeah, I don't know what this person did to you, but uh, I think you're going to get furious. Ooh, yes, you're going to get so, so furious. We have so many cards indicating that. So we do have uh, the Six of Cups clarified by the Hermit, right? The Six of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Could be a Virgo who is coming back to you. And the Hermit uh, is a Virgo major iconic card. But the Hermit could be somebody who went through some kind of a soul searching, did a lot of thinking, went through some kind of a process, right? And now they're back. And the rest of the spread... The remaining cards belong to you, Gemini, and again, I'm not going to go into details, I'm not going to waste time, but this is you being getting infuriated, infuriated, all right? And I think you're going to lose your cool, you know? <laughs> like I said, you could be literally chasing this person out, all right? All those four cards are talking about you being, you're definitely not taking them back, um, all right? 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Gemini, this week. Uh, we have uh, the Emperor, uh, we have the Page of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, uh, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups, and we have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You will receive an offer, and you will at least consider taking it. Some of you will take it. Okay, actually most of you will, okay, because <laughs> the uh, this is the real deal offer, it really is, right? So let's unfold this real quick, Gemini. We have the Emperor, the first guy that came out, this is uh, the person reaching out to you. It could be an Aries here, you know, but when it comes to work, business, and finances, this is a boss figure, a figure of authority, right? And uh, the Page of Swords, the next guy that came out, this is a message coming from uh, the Emperor. What's in the message? The Ace of Pentacles is in the message, right? A real deal, real offer, long term, a pile of cash, uh, you know, all the benefits included, all right? We also have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of collaboration, and it often comes through as a card of, you know, a bunch of people working together in a, in a workplace environment. And then we have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. You're the Queen of Swords here, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And as I was clarifying the Queen of Swords, I simply asked, how will uh, Gemini um, uh, <coughs> handle this? And those two cards showed up. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. Yes, most of you will um, take this offer, right? The Wheel of Fortune, this is you accepting it. This is the start of a cycle. In the Eight of Cups, this is you walking away from, I believe, your existing uh, employment all right I don't think this is you walking away from the offer I believe this is you walking away from your existing employer because again the offer is really really good all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week Gemini we have uh, the two of cups the three of pentacles the queen of cups uh, clarified by the ace of swords and we also have the eight of ones on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a water sign cancel Scorpio or Pisces um, what, you're, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Cups wanting to collaborate with you, want, wanting to partner up with you, okay? I, it doesn't strike me as a, as a love connection, even though we do have the Two of Cups here, but we have the Three of Pentacles, right? Um, yeah, the Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, cooperation. The Two of Cups, in this case, I think this is a handshake, right? I often interpret the Two of Cups as the handshake card. And, uh, you know, perhaps they just want to do, do like a side business with you, a side, uh, side hustle with you. They want to start a book club together with you. Perhaps uh, they want to uh, take a class, like a cooking class <laughs> or a ballet dancing class. And uh, they would reach out to you and ask you if you want to do this with them. Okay? Um, yeah, that's how it strikes me. And uh, they're going to be very straightforward, very honest with you, because uh, the Queen of Cups is clarified by the uh, Ace of Swords. With the Ace of Swords, nobody is lying, nobody is fooling around. They'll just tell you straight up uh, what they want, right? And uh, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of either travel or communication. Most likely communication between the two of you. All right, I don't know what you're going to do about this, Gemini, but I don't see any ulterior motives, no, nothing like that. All right, so yeah, uh, that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this reading for this um, uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week.